Hello, Intermediate Algebra students. My name is Ms. Slominski, and I'm one of the Intermediate Algebra teachers. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what you will be doing in your last class period for Intermediate Algebra. Now, I realize that the most important thing on your mind for today and tomorrow is completing your Chapter 11 test on statistics. So today, once you finish this video, you need to make sure that you're completing your rainbow reviews and getting ready for that test, which will be tomorrow. As a note, your test tomorrow will be open from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. It will once again have a timer, so you need to make sure that when you start the test, you are ready to complete the entire test. Okay, but after you take the test on Friday, you all have one class period left. And for that day, we have created a final spreadsheet project to help you learn how to do the statistics we're doing through what's called a Google Sheet. So on that day, you're gonna find this icon in your teacher's folder for that day. It's called the Final Spreadsheet Project, and you will click on it. When you go there, this will happen, okay? And it'll automatically be at assignment, so you're gonna to need to click on My Document. Now, the first time I did this, just to kind of play with it to see what it would look like for you guys as students, this is a student view. Um, it told me I wasn't logged into Google, even though I felt like I was. So there was a little thing that just said connect. So I clicked on that, logged in through my account again. And when I did that, it still didn't work. So I actually had to go back to assignment, click on my document, and then it logged me in. So in case that happens to you, I just wanted to let you know that that did happen to me. But when I did it the second time, it worked just fine. Okay, so once you're connected through Google, this should show up for you. And it automatically makes a copy of this Google spread Google sheet for you. Now... The purpose of the project you can see at the top is that you're going to learn how to use spreadsheets to do statistical analysis of data. Okay, so virtually everything we've done is what you're going to do. Now you'll see that there's 10 steps listed. If we just said choose a comparison, you might be confused. But here's the good news. You're literally every time going to go hover over step one and you'll see a video pops up. You'll click on that link and watch a short video. Please know that all of these videos are somewhere between like one and four minutes. So they're all very short, but when you watch the video and push play, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do for step one, okay? Now in step one, it's going to ask you to decide which two data tabs might be interesting to compare, and you're gonna delete the other tabs. Again, it will show you what that, how to do that, but when it's talking about the tabs, it's talking about these things down at the bottom. Okay, so you're going to ultimately pick, do you want to talk about athlete students, non-athlete students, data for all. It'll show you that you can click over, but you'll, there's a lot of extra data there. So that's what you'll do in step one. Now, um, if, like in step two, when it says choose either hours of sleep or number of text messages. So if I click on data for athlete students, you'll see that there is hours of sleep and there will be number of text messages data in there as well. Okay, so you'll have data in both columns. Once you complete whatever task you're doing within the spreadsheet you're looking at, you will want to go back to those instructions. And so just so you know, whenever you want to go back to the instructions, you go to the bottom and click on the instructions tab. Okay, so after I complete step one, I would come back to instructions, watch video two, go to my spreadsheets that I have and the tabs at the bottom and do what it's asking. Then I would come back, watch step three, again, go to each data tab that I have left, perform that thing, and then come back to instructions. So you literally just go through video, do it on your spreadsheet, video, do it on your spreadsheet, all the way through step 10. In step 10, you're gonna write three sentences comparing your measures of center and measures of spread based on the work you've done. You can see you will, you will type them right in here. So I would just go here, um, delete that, and I would write like whatever I'm gonna write as my sentence. After you've written your third sentence and completed all 10 tasks, that is when you will go back to the top and click Submit Assignment. And when you do that, do you, are you sure you want to submit? Yes. And you are done. Once you see this, you are actually done with your Intermediate Algebra course for the year. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Again, now your job is to go back to your Rainbow Reviews, and studying for the Chapter 11 Statistics Test, which will be tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Next week, you will do this project. Thanks so much, and have a great rest of the year in Intermediate Algebra.